Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the, the 4th of July yesterday and uh, staying safe today. Um, we have Mo Wagner here with us uh, for his media availability session. I just got done with his workout, as you can see. Um, so we will go ahead and uh, open up for questions. As always, please use the raise hand feature or you can uh, direct message me on the chat um, and we will uh, do our best to get to everyone's questions and start with Chris Miller. Scott, appreciate that. Mo, how are you? Good. I, I would say good to see you, but I can't see you. Uh, we'll see each other soon enough, buddy. Uh, quick question, man. With what's going on with obviously the pandemic and the social unrest that's going on in this country, how would you kind of capsulize from your perspective the last three and a half months? Um, yeah, definitely a very unique time. Um, so kind of surreal feelings and um obviously doubts too like is this really happening and then at the same time especially with the social social justice um stuff obviously it's extremely unfortunate that we have to have these conversations but at the same time i'm, I'm kind of like proud to be part um, of a time where this is happening and um it's 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 just all around weird i mean sometimes you still wake up and think like is this really like reality with the whole pandemic um but i guess everybody feels that way so uh, we all sit in the same boat just one more question and i'll be done uh just your thoughts on going down to florida knowing where that is now the epicenter of this pandemic how have you kind of um rationalized the fact that yes it's your job but also you know trying to stay safe yeah um i mean I think the whole thing in general is obviously a, a very unique situation to begin with, um, to be in a bubble and have that kind of, that kind of phenomenon, um, where you, we kind of cut off the rest of the world and just trying to do your thing and play basketball together, which I'm first of all, very excited for, um, to be able to play again. I mean, I'm very young, so to have this opportunity to play in the summer and to finish off the season and play for the playoffs is, is uh, incredible for me, but, the fact that the, the 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 cases are spiking is definitely a whole different um, yeah question and obviously raises some some doubts. But I'll just stay in the moment and um, as I have in the last four months and um, just go day by day and we'll see how it works out. And um, I trust the league and the NBPA to figure it out. Thanks, Mo. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Likewise. Thanks, Fred. Hey Mo, what's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Um, I'm good. I'm uh, I am I am just wondering. I know the first like before you had the actual ankle injury, you were really playing unbelievably well, and you started to after you came back from that, you almost played a little bit different. You didn't shoot quite as many threes. Just stylistically, you were different the second half of the year. How how which one of those those versions of you do you think is more like you? you anticipate playing stylistically and, and did the change in style have to do with the downtick in production after you came back? Um, I mean, this is my second year. I've yet to play 82 games. So to talk about um, the player Mo Wagner, how he has defined himself in the league, I think is a little premature. Um, I'm still in the, in the process of figuring that out and time's, where I play well and times where I don't play that well um, a part of it. So I don't know what's it going to look like. I think that's kind of part of the whole process. And um, sometimes you got to play bad to, to learn stuff about yourself. And not that I do it consciously, but like, it's just part of the, part of the deal, you know, especially when you're a young player and trying to figure it out. So um, I don't anticipate myself playing in a certain way. I, I mean, it's an instinctive game. I'm trying to try to win and, make the right play and um, obviously there's a certain confidence level that goes up and down, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a work in pro progress. And, and Mo, just to follow up, was, was there anything in, in particular that, that you worked on trying to improve during, during the time off or was it just a general workout? Time? I think the biggest thing that we worked on was just being lower, being more stable, um, having the game slow down in your movements a little bit and um, control yourself a little better in what you do. I worked a lot on my mental stuff, which is, which is an ongoing process anyway. So, um, yeah, I think the general thing is just be low at everything you do um, and have the game slow down for you a little bit. 
Chase. Hey, Mo, hope you're doing good, man. Um, I'm curious, what type of resources did you have while you, you know, were waiting out this quarantine? Did you have a hoop to shoot on, um, weights, uh, exercise bikes, stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I got to give a lot of credit to the Wizards. The Wizards did a great job of, like, giving, providing us with material and all the stuff that we needed. Um, I I live in a little townhouse in, in D.C., that, uh, in D.C., so... Um, I rented the downtown, uh, the townhouse below my apartment or whatever you want to call it um, because it's empty and we set up a little gym and had some space. I had my family there too, so I wasn't alone. I had the company, you know, um, and I mean, we did Zoom workouts every week and um, eventually my brother and I got kind of eager to shoot a ball, so uh, my agent had us, uh, had us send a basketball hoop for outside, which we built took us like three days and obviously it's not the same thing but I mean we, we played a little bit in the garage in the middle of the city it was a, kind of an absurd situation but you, you'll take what, what you can get I guess Neil hey Mo I hope you and your family are doing well I was wondering when you were going through the playoff zoom sessions um, where you guys watch back some of the old Wizards playoff games, what was kind of one of your biggest takeaways about that whole process and how that's so much different than regular season? I mean, it's an entirely different game. I think it was really cool to to kind of see John and Brad and Jan, I mean, all these guys in action and kind of look at them through a different lens. And also, especially with Brad, just being able to to have a – like kind of engage about what, what he was thinking, certain situations and how he sees it now. And um, I mean, the dude is unbelievable. And the way he sees himself is to, to kind of get a behind the scenes look at that. It's pretty unique. Um, and I mean, he's done a great job. The coach has done a great job. And for me, just kind of learning from, from Gortat as a big guy and from Jan and all that stuff, what really is important in the playoffs, um, how the refs just, like swallow their whistle, like that's something um, th that you don't know if you haven't experienced it. And um, it's great to have that um, exchange with, with vets like Shabazz, Jan, Brad, and John. Fred. Hey, Mo, I just wanted to follow up on something you said earlier. You mentioned uh, focusing on, on the mental side. And I know you've talked a little bit about how uh, the psychological part of the game affects affects how you play and, and that kind of stuff. What what have you been doing in the last three months to to work on that mental side? Can you just go a little bit more in depth on that? No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, it's 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 like I think it's it's important. I mean, um, it sounds silly, but I think everybody got to kind of figure that out for themselves. Um, without like I'm not trying not to answer a question here don't get me wrong but it's it's I mean I've been reading a lot um also watching basketball through different perspectives watching like, the game um doing my whole meditation stuff and there's certain things that I do um but I mean that's that's nothing that where you say okay I'm gonna take this four months period and I work on it and then you're done afterwards it's more like a like a process and habits that you develop that, that help you throughout your daily life. Um, and that has less to do with, with the last four months, if you, if, you, if you know what I'm saying. So it's nothing where I just say, okay, I'm going to add this, or just trying to, to kind of educate myself and figure out ways how to, um, yeah, clear my mind. That counts as an answer. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Chase, do you have another? I see your hand up. I didn't know if that was from before. Um, I do. I have a question, but uh, first, a quick follow-up to something you said earlier. You and your brother set up the hoop. Where'd you guys set it up? Where were you guys shooting around? Well, I have a little garage, um, and an outside garage, you know, sometimes in D.C. to have them without a roof. So I could, like, set them up uh, in my back alley and um, right there. And every time a car drives by, you have to wait. And obviously, it's not very <laughs> – it's very old school, you know. You're going back to the – to the to the to the roots a little bit but I mean after six weeks without touching a ball you're like hey we gotta do something man like I'm a professional basketball player 
and I haven't touched the basketball in six weeks. That's like, dang, right. So um, that's kind of what we came up with. And then obviously going further along, we, we, we were provided the gym here and um, it worked out well. So, um, yeah, my question is, you're going to go live at Disney World. Uh, what do you know about Disney World? I mean, have you ever been to any of their uh, properties or anything like that? What, what do you expect going to live in, obviously, such a very unique place? Yeah, I mean, that's a very American thing. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard to, for me to relate as a, as a European um, to the whole Disney thing. I'm, I don't really have any emotional attachment to that. Um, to be honest with you, I not a big Mickey Mouse guy or whatever. Um, so it's going to be interesting for me. I mean, it's obviously with ESPN there, it's obviously convenient. Um, but the whole thing is very American to say the least. Um, so I, again, I'll trust the league and the MBPA, um, a great deal that they, that they, they they make it convenient, that they make it the best way that everybody can. But I also understand that this is not going to be perfect. And I, I'm, I don't really have anything to complain about, you know, like I'm 23. Um, I just, I just want to play basketball. So I'm, I'm excited that people try their best to, to provide that for me. And um, yeah, every game for me is a, is a right step, is a development step for us as a team, as a young team as well. So I'm happy about it. All right, great. Thanks, Mo. Uh, unless anybody else has uh, another question, I don't see anybody else's hand raised. Um, if anybody else has a question, go ahead. If not, we will uh, go ahead and wrap up. Appreciate it, Mo. And uh, we'll send the schedule uh, for uh